What's up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to the Wolves Chelsea post-patch analysis video. Let me know what does this result mean for Chelsea's title hopes. Do you think they are still in the title race? Just because of how much uh, like Liverpool and Man City are dropping points this season, they, that is the main reason why. Chelsea are still in the title race because in, in a normal season like last season or two seasons ago Chelsea would be very very far away from a first or second place but because both Man City and Liverpool dropped so many points this season Chelsea are still in the title race but losing two games in like four days yes against Everton and Wolves who are decent teams but Wolves without Raul Jimenez are not the same beast they are not the same team but still Chelsea found found a way to lose this game and I'm using that phrase because Chelsea had this game by uh, in their palm of their hands they had the chances uh, Timo Werner really had an off day and that's the kind of player Timo Werner is he scores sometimes four goals or three goals in against any team but in other time in other games he looks bang average and against Everton and against Wolves Timo Werner looked pretty average as well and for a striker who cost 50 million you expect a uh, lot more from team over you expect goals you expect assists and you expect uh, normally a lot of contribution and by the way it says a lot about Chelsea that they spent 250 million on, the, on their team and their most dangerous player is the veteran Olivier Giroud who cost them absolutely nothing I think he was a free transfer from Arsenal and he's like 33 34 years old and he was Chelsea's main threat he scored a great goal he could have scored another from a Wolves, from a Chelsea corner and I mean uh, Wolves uh, defended pretty well they are a very good solid defensive side but still Giroud with his uh, presence really upset a lot of defense and it shows that um, you know Chelsea has, and Frank Lampard still have a lot of work to do I think the jury is still out on Frank Lampard he has to be in the title race until the last five six games of the season otherwise that's a massive failure you spend 250 million in a summer your fans expect a, a title win uh, Chelsea Rory who is uh, of course a, a pundit on the kickoff and uh, he's uh, very adamant that Chelsea will win the Premier League title well I'm really looking forward to listening to what he has to say after this game and especially after Chelsea losing back-to-back -back games against Everton and, and Wolves and why I'm saying Chelsea had this victory in the palm of their hands Zuma hit the bar in the first half also Olivier Giroud really should have scored from a free header in the first half in the second half Giroud scored from a brilliant Ben Chilwell cross I have him in my fantasy Premier League team and Chilwell is always a uh, danger he reminds me of Andy Robertson with his runs uh, that was probably one of the best signings uh, from Chelsea Kai Havertz has the, really done almost nothing uh, on up until now even though he cost a lot of money and Timo Werner as I said he is very inconsistent I think he really needs to find a way to score regularly in this Chelsea side because uh, yeah, I mean last season Tammy Abraham at this point he already had like nine or ten goals and I, I still believe that Thibaut Werner will get around 20 goals uh, this season and that is a good return from a striker but considering how many times he goes missing in games and how many times he fails to score very very good chances I, I, I expected a lot more from Timo Werner I will be honest when he went to Chelsea instead of Liverpool I was very gutted but this basically justifies Liverpool's decision because Diogo Jota who cost like 10 million pounds less than Timo Werner and his wages are probably half of Timo Werner's wages yes I know Jota is out injured right now but he scored more goals than uh, Timo Werner and he looks a better player than Timo Werner Jota is always a threat in every game and you can't say that about uh, Timo Werner but enough of Chelsea criticism let's praise uh, Wolves because this was an absolutely brilliant comeback win Pedro Neto and Podence how can Wolves find these like gem of a players who are like 18 19 years old and they already look huge talent and Wolves I'm sure if they could keep these players for the next three or four years they could seriously challenge for Champions League place and I think if Rauf Jimenez didn't have get, hadn't uh, had that that huge injury that fractured skull 
a few games ago. Wolves would be a serious top four contenders this season. They still are because of this win. But I just feel that Raul Jimenez, he's a number nine who, who was a goal threat every game and he scores regularly 15-20 goals in the Premier League. I'm not sure if Neto and Podens can score 15 goals each in the Premier League, but even if one of them just scores 10 goals in the Premier League, that would be a huge, huge um, plus for Wolves. And the way Neto ran at the Chelsea defense in the 95th minute, I absolutely loved that, that directness. And Podence's goal was brilliant. I thought at first glance that it was um, maybe a goalkeeping error by Mendy, who, of course, many pundits raved about uh, Mendy, a uh, new goalkeeper signing for Chelsea. And to be fair, you can't be uh, worse than Kepa, uh, the former Chelsea goalkeeper. Mendy is an improvement, a big improvement. But I think that he really should have saved that first uh, Wolves goal by Podence. I'm, I'm still not sure. Yes, it gets deflected off, I think, Reese James, who didn't really have a... A good game or was it Thiago Silva? No, it's Rhys James. So maybe yeah, maybe that's why it went in But still Chelsea were leading in the 64th minute and they managed to lose the game 2-1 against Wolves a Wolves team who are not as threatening with uh, without Raul Jimenez and after that, you know, it was a uh, an end-to-end -end game. Chelsea really tried to get the winner. They had some good chances, but ultimately what cost them is they gave the ball away and uh, in the 94th minute and Wolves just very casually passes it through their midfield and before Chelsea know it, uh, Podence, uh, sorry, Pedro Neto is running one-on-one -on, -one on Kurt Zuma and as soon as Neto got that ball, I was sensing that something special could happen here because Pedro Neto, I love these kind of players who are very direct. When they get the ball uh, all, uh, around the edge of the box, they just run at people, they just run at defenders and I love that. Neto gets the ball from like 50 yards from goal and Zuma is just retreating, retreating, retreating. He looks afraid. I'm sorry to say, Kurt Zuma looked afraid of Pedro Neto and he had every right to be because this kid at 19 years old, even in the 95th minute, he had bags of energy. Zuma was probably pretty tired, but that's no excuse to not close Pedro Neto down. He really should have closed him down a little bit earlier. By the time Zuma cl closes Neto down, he already has his shot away. It's an unsavable rocket into the bottom corner. What an end to a pulsating, brilliant Chelsea game. Chelsea, Wolves Chelsea game. I really enjoyed it. I love Premier League football, especially around Christmas time. And tomorrow it will be a big Liverpool Tottenham blockbuster game. And I think this just weakens Chelsea's title, title hopes considerably. I still consider Man City and Liverpool the two main favorites for the title but Tottenham and Chelsea also have an outside chance. It depends on these kind of games. If Tottenham and Chelsea can be consistent then they will be in the title race but it looks like Chelsea still have a lot of problems even though they looked defensively solid uh, before the Everton game. Now they lost back-to-back -back games so the pressure is under Frank Lomb on, on Frank Lombard now. They have to get into the title race with this expensive squad some say that now with Liverpool having eight or nine injuries, Chelsea have the biggest squad in the Premier League. And if you take the injuries into account, that could be true. So if Frank Lampard doesn't get into a title race, he failed massively. That's my opinion. Anyway, let me know yours in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. See you later, guys. Goodbye.